I'm Ken Chairman, Senior Editor here at CNET.com. Today we're taking a first look at the Motorola ZN5. This is a new phone for T-Mobile service. This is a very interesting phone in a lot of ways. It is a 5 megapixel camera phone, which we've seen a few times before, but it is one of the better camera phones we've seen. Moto actually designed this phone in partnership with Kodak. They wouldn't elaborate on exactly the contributions that Kodak made, but whatever those contributions are, it is apparent as this phone has a pretty good camera with a lot of features, and the photo quality is pretty amazing. The phone also has Wi-Fi, and uh, what that enables you to do is you can upload your photos instantly to Kodak Photo Gallery, which is an online service that used to be called Ophoto, but it's one of the more popular online photo galleries. Really an ideal camera. Camera's just here on the back. You can start it instantly by sliding down that uh, sliding lens cover. Starts the photo a camera automatically. Pretty f nice flash as well. It is a uh, xenon flash. Uh, it was a little uh, sensitive in some areas. If we put it on auto, sometimes it flashed and we didn't really want it to. And in that case, photos tended to be a little uh, overblown and too much light. It's a nice felt design though. Uh, it's a nice gray color with a couple touches of purple here and there. Display is very nice. It's very bright. It's colorful. Shows a lot of colors. Uh, all you can get in and uh, cruise around the menus easily. They're just simple icon-based menus. Navigation toggle is great. It is raised above the surface of the phone. Uh, maybe a tiny bit small for some users, but we found it pretty easy to use. Really tactile, able to get your finger in there and just move around and scroll through the menus as you like. There's an OK button here in the center. There's a talk and end key. A couple of soft keys. A uh, button for a dedicated back button and a button for uh, actually activating the photo gallery feature. Keypad buttons down below, uh, they are flat with the surface of the phone, but like some of the navigation buttons, they have little tiny little silver bumps next to them, so that gives them some tactile definition. Really, uh, it's not the best for dialing by feel in some ways, but I suppose after some practice you can get used to that. It does have a mode shift keypad, which is what we saw on the Motorola Rocker E8, and what that means is the backlighting on the keypad changes as you cycle through different phone functions. We'd be able to use this button right here that lights up to access the photo gallery feature, so you can cycle through your photos. And then once you're in there, you can uh, send them, you can get them off the phone instantly using this button, or trash delete them instantly using this button. So really nice uh, in that way, like the mode shift keypad. Once you press that again and go back to the camera mode, those other controls will disappear. Camera shutter is right here on the top. When you are using the phone, it does have the ergonomics of a regular camera. You can use the volume control right here to zoom. Other features on the outside is there's a locking switch here. You can just slide that down and we'll lock the keys automatically. So if uh, carrying the phone in a pocket or a bag or anything like that, uh, you won't press a button accidentally. And uh, there is a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, which is great. We like to see that. Uh, so you can use the phone's music player, which is just a generic Moto player, to uh, listen to your tunes and you can use your own headset. Finally, here on this side, we have a micro USB slot. This is used, of course, for a USB cable and the charger, so it's good to have that one port. Other features include organizer features, of course, messaging, some email, uh, uh, web browser, uh, speakerphone, uh, voice dialing, but this phone is really all about that camera, and again, it's one of the better camera phones we've seen. I'm Kent German, and this is the Motorola ZN5.